Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the JavaScript hook events, right? Now in this video, we will see about uh, with a simple example how we can implement the transitions without using CSS and with using the JavaScript event hooks. Let's try to see in this demo in this video. Now here I have shown you all these console dot logs, right? Now let's comment out this CSS approach. Okay, I am commenting out this CSS approach. And here, if you try to see the output, okay, if I try to see the output, and if I click here, so nothing is happening, okay, for this button. So these all events are firing, even if the CSS transitions are uh, not there. Then, then now we need to make use of this these JavaScript events, and we need to uh, do the animation for this one. What we what I will be trying to do this first animation is so here before enter on entering, what I will try to do here, I want to make the opacity 0 okay opacity 0 to slowly i need to i need to make the opacity 1 now here how can i get how can i get the access of this element okay button element so now in the before enter you will be having uh, a yeah, before enter method it will receive an argument that is nothing but element if you try to console.log the element okay now if you try to console.log the element here if i click on here on you will be able to see the button element see so I am able to get the button element there. Now what I can do here, I can make use of this one el dot style dot opacity. Okay, first one, first what I need to do opacity is equal to zero. Okay, then now enter if an active. So here is the place where I need to run the transition. So we know right in the enter if an active we have we have written zero point three second one second the transition thing we have applied. It. So here we need to run the transition. So in the JavaScript, how we can run the transition by using set interval, or otherwise you can use some third-party plugins like how the Vue.js will be using uh, here uh, velocity. They will be using the velocity plugin, velocity JS. So by using this velocity also you can apply. But we will write the or traditional uh, JavaScript process. So now what I will try to do, I'll, I try to, I want to make this zero to one for a particular interval of time. So I how can I run that one using the set interval? So let's try here. Now what I will try to take is let step is equal to 0 0.01 okay i will increase to 0 0.01 slowly i will increase so i can run the set interval okay set interval of here so it need to run for every 20 seconds or 15 seconds whatever the timing you want okay 15 milliseconds and here i can write let opacity is equal to 0 okay so from 0 to 1 it to make right so what i will try to do here in the set interval I will write right opacity okay opacity plus is equal to okay step i will need i will i will be adding each time the step 0 0.01 i will be adding to this opacity now here after completing this uh, after after reaching the one i need to cancel this interval so how can i cancel constant sorry interval is equal to so what i can do here if opacity okay if opacity, if opacity is less than or equal to 1 okay is greater than or equal to 1 or otherwise if it is greater than or equal to 1 then clear interval of what i can say this interval okay the the where we have seen where we have stored we need to set and here what i need to do here also you will be getting access to the el element the element now here i can write el dot style dot opacity is equal to opacity so i whatever whatever the opacity i am storing in the variable i will save i will i will assign it to the el dot style dot opacity see here now what we have did we have we are running the set editor for every 15 seconds it will it will run and it will try to add the opacity 0 0.01 for every 15 seconds now if you try to see here the output so now let me refresh this one okay now let's try to see the opacity see slowly it, it came on button is slowly it is coming but off button uh the leaving leaving transition we do, we have been written right so that is the reason we are not getting so we let's write the leave transition also so leave transition what we need to do so reverse we need to reverse these all the things so how i can write here here i can write is equal to one okay and the same thing same logic i need to catch here and i need to run the after leave here the same logic okay 
Oh, sorry, in the leave, in the leave. In the leave, I need to run the same logic. Okay, now we in the same the run, I'm running the same logic, right? So here the opacity will be 1, and we need to decrease each time the opacity. And here I need to apply less than or equal to 0. Okay, so uh, we need to reverse this one. Okay, from 1 to 0, it need to apply. Now, if I try to see the output, okay, here it is saying the EL is not defined. Okay, fine. So we have in written the EL, right? So in the before EL leave also, we need to write the EL. So every every method you will be having an access to the EL. So now if I try to he do here, see slowly the transition is applying. So if you want to see the transition, so we I can decrease this one. Sorry, I can increase this one to 14, 20 so that we can see the transition. So if I try to show you the output here. I click here okay slowly it is applying okay now if you try to see off is immediately it is going right off it is immediately it is going so what is the reason it is going so let's try to see so i am applying opacity before leave one is there so now slowly it has to do so then what is the thing it is happening here is so if you try to see okay before leave if you try to see after leave or leave so what it is happening is here so simultaneously these are applying so after leave after enter these are what is happening is here the transitions these both transitions simultaneously these are applying okay so enter and leave is simultaneously is applying so that is the reason so these intervals intervals are getting executed simultaneously that is the reason it is going to be uh, it, it is it is it is going to be not working so properly so now what we need to do is so now for example here if you if you try to understand before enter or let's try to uh, write the console.log uh, before enter so we will keep this one so that you will be able to understand okay you will be able to understand the issue cl cl clearly so here you will be having console after enter is there and here what i will try to do is console.log enter so let's try to do uh, check this one and here if i try to do console.log before leave and i will be having console.log after leave and console.log leave console.log leave so that means so this is the thing it need to work now here now if i refresh this one okay now see see here if you observe before leave leave and before enter and before enter after leave enter and after enter so these are simultaneously executing so what it is happening is if you clearly observe if you clearly observe these bo these all the things are simultaneously applying so for example see see immediately this before enter after leave is, these are simultaneously firing immediately if you observe the so transition is not yet finished till these all has been printed for example if i try to show you 50 seconds if i try to print okay 50 milliseconds then the transition will apply very slowly right so that means so now you will uh, you will now you will understand see these are printed but the animation is still going on so that means after leave everything has been printed when when this when this be uh, after leave has to print when this leave is completed only then after leave has to complete why because in this leave it is still leaving it is still the element is still leaving the this one and also here after enter when it is to fire when this enter when the transition is completely completed and completely entered into the dom then after enter has to fire so but here what it is happening is here the transition is still going on this trans if you see the transition is still going on but here are ah, everything is printed if you see if you if you see if i keep 100 milliseconds also then also you will be able to understand what it is happening is here if i if i try to if i try to refresh and if i try to print so here the animation is still going but here everything is got printed see so here the still animation is going on you observe so slowly the button is coming but here they are uh, everything has already been printed this after enter and after leave when it has to print when this leave and enter is completed only this has to print why because in this leave still transition is going on that means the element still didn't completely entered into the dom or the uh, button still didn't completely left left the dom okay so so that means after after leave or after enter when it has to print after successfully completing that leave transition and also the enter transition but here we are running the set interval right so now the vue.js code cannot able to determine that when the leave will be completed so then after leave afterwards i need to leave, i need to print that after leave right 
so then Vue.js will be not able to detect this one. So that is the reason for leave and enter only. For these two things only, you will be having an extra argument that is nothing but the done. So when you when you when you are using this argument, you need to you need to mention the done. So when your transition completely is finished, so you need to call this function done. Until unless you call the done function, then then after enter will be printed. So here when we are clearing the interval, we need to call this done right. So we can write this done here. Okay, I think hope you understood this uh, issue. So now if I try to refresh this one, okay. Now if I try to refresh this one, now if I click here, see it waited. So the transition has to up. Uh, the transition has to uh, complete. Then only after leave. After leaving, after leave will print. Now enter. Okay, after enter is completed only. Then after enter has to print. Okay, so this is the done done principle. See now this after enter will print. See, so this is how you will be able to you you will be able to do this one. Okay, I hope you understood this one about the done thing when you need to done. Done will be used only when you are uh, using this after leave. After leave will be printed. Okay, so this is the thing. And also another thing what I want to tell you is so here I will decrease to thirty milliseconds so that it will be very easy for us. Okay, so I I decrease it to thirty milliseconds. Now let's try to see the output here. If I try to refresh this one again. If I click on on, so slowly it is going away. Okay, slowly it is coming on. Now what I will try to do is, so I will do some some issue, some some issue, some issue means for what I will try to do is, I will click on off again. Before coming on, I will click on again like this. See now what it will happen? Again off came. See, again off came. So now if I try to click four times. So what it will happen? What it will happen? I too don't know. So what it is going to happen? I too don't know. So now let's try to show you now with uh, 20 milliseconds, okay? So that the transition will be little bit faster. Now if I try to show you the output here, if I click here, immediately going up. If I click here, immediately coming on. If I click here, immediately going up. So so what it is happening? I don't know. So here, if I click four times. So what it will happen? I don't know. So immediately off is coming. So that is the that is the, the thing is what is happening is here that all the transition is going is going. So for example here, if I try to do ten milliseconds or something, okay. So you will be having this problem. So for example, uh, when you will find this one very problematic is now set interval. Okay, here I will run console dot log interval running okay enter enter interval running now if you try to observe this one enter interval running of 20 okay and here i will run i will do eve interval running now if you try to observe here the intervals which we have entered so it will be running going on running why because i have entered for example if you run here so here it is running right so now after uh, leave interval after enter interval running now if i press four times here so if you observe here see how many intervals are running okay if you observe here so if i run here this one okay so now it it took it took only less less minute of time now if you try to see here what will happen is so if you see here see what it is happening it is going on running again for example if i write it again again and again you will you will so if I try to if if I try to print like this, see, it is going on printing. So it will be going on printing. One forty four. These all things have been printed here. See how many leave intervals have been printed. See. So if I click on again and again, see it will be going on printing. See, it will be going on printing. So these many intervals, these many intervals have been printed. But we don't have those many intervals. So what you need to do is what you need to do is when when before transition before transition completion only if somebody clicks on that button we need to cancel the transition okay how to cancel how to cancel the transition so according to this enter and these all the things we also have another one that is nothing but enter cancel okay we will be having enter cancel is equal to enter cancel and also another one will be leave cancel leave cancel okay I didn't remember this one exactly. Leave cancel or leave cancelled. Here we will see uh, what we can say. Vi if now enter here we will see leave cancelled right. 
so here you can write leave cancelled okay so you'll be having the past tense uh, word only leave cancelled okay so leave cancel so now what i need to do i need to stop this interval so unnecessary sh starting uh, unnecessarily running of intervals i need to stop so now here how can i how can i run how can i do leave cancel so what is the thing i can do it here is so now what we need to do is so these intervals we need to store in the store in the global variables what i can do here enter cancel is equal to enter interval or otherwise enter interval empty okay and the leave interval empty now i can have the both intervals and now what i can do is here i can save it in the this dot enter interval okay and here i will be having this dot leave interval so i can save it in the global uh, in the variable so that i can access here in the enter cancel so here what i can do clear interval of sorry this, this dot this dot enter cancel so i need to i need to cancel that one sorry enter can not enter interval now here what i need to do i need to again do the clear interval of leave interval so i am clearly leaving out the, uh, i am clearly cancelling these all unnecessary set intervals now if i try to see the output okay so what is saying interval is not defined what is that interval is not defined where it is so clear interval this dot leave interval this dot enter interval okay we have written here these are the things fine you cancel after enter somewhere we have written oh, we will see the line number interval is not defined transition events are 70 to 35 70 to 35 where is the sound to that here clear oh, okay 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 so here we need to write this dot enter interval so we need to change it to this dot enter interval and here we need to change this dot leave interval so this is the way how we de we be debugging this one so now we got the output now here let's see so i click here so it came it run perfect now what i will try to do is i will click again immediately here see what it is happening so the immediately that one is cancelling out okay so immediately it is getting executed so if i write it couple times see nothing so immediately it is getting it, it the, uh, previously how we have did it is not happening so the intervals is getting cancelled immediately so only the so only the things what it is there then uh, these things only executing so previously we have so many of intervals running but here immediately it is getting cancelled if i write here see now if i try to want to see this one, this one and if i click here immediately enter interval has been cancelled see within 24 enter interval has been cancelled so that this way we can use the enter cancel events so to cancel the this any 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 uh, unwanted intervals or anything if you are running so if you want to stop the transition immediately you can stop the transition by using the enter cancel and the leave cancel events okay this is about the uh, demo representation of the javascript events hooks using javascript events hooks how to run the transitions hope you understood the code so i will be i will be posting this code in the github repository if you want this code you can take the uh, you can see the code in the github repository the github uh, link will be provided in the description below you can have that link so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you